The information contained in this video is intended for educational purposes. We are not responsible for any damage to your device resulting from improper disassembly or installation. Proceed at your own risk. All right, so if your home button is doing this, kind of sh spinning around, there's a reason for that, and most likely it's because either you had your screen replaced recently and they were not able to salvage the adhesive on the inside or your phone got a little bit wet. And the problem with that is if your fingertips are ever wet and you start using the home button, it's very easy to allow moisture to get down inside here and that will cause problems with your home button or other parts inside of your phone. So I'm going to show you how to fix that with one of these. Now they are kind of annoying to work with, so I would recommend if you do this repair, get a few of them. They're very cheap. It's probably going to take a couple times to get it right, so what we'll have to do is go ahead and open up the phone. If you have any doubts of being able to stabilize the phone while you're working on it, then I would go ahead and remove the display entirely. But I'm going to take a shortcut here and see if I can't just do this with the phone opened up. So I'm not going to remove the battery, remove the screen or anything else. I'm just going to prop it open so that I can work on the area where the home button is. Again, the safer method would be to remove the screen completely, but we'll go in here and get this thing opened up. Yeah. Keep thinking I'm working with an iPhone 6. These do not open quite as easily. So I'll go right between the metal and the plastic bezel down here and then just prop it up a little bit. Once you got it started, pretty easy to get inside. This one has been taken apart quite a few times. This is my project phone. And this will work on the 5, 5C, 5S. I believe all of these gasket things are interchangeable. So what I want to be able to do is just kind of flip this over and open it up this way. Be very careful with your cables at the top. You don't want to put any stress on those. But you should be able to open this up. And then once again, we want to have something to kind of stabilize this. So what I'm going to do is just take a roll of tape set it right there and that's going to prevent it from closing up while I'm working with it. So the part that we're going to concentrate on is right down here at the bottom. We'll have a couple of screws that need to come out, one here and one here. And once we get those off, you may have a little bit of adhesive underneath there. If you do, you can hit that with the heat gun. Mine has been taken off quite a few times. The main thing is you don't want to tear this cable while you're opening it up. So we want to get underneath this entire cable here and just kind of gently lift up. Don't slice through, just lift it towards you until you release the adhesive that's holding it in place. And were this adhesive underneath the home button working okay, we'd have to use some heat also. But this one, as I showed you earlier, is pretty worn out. So you can go ahead and just peel this plate off right here. Set that aside, that's your home button. And of course this procedure will be a little bit different with a 5S because of the fingerprint cable. So what we need to do is just take your, just take your finger and push down on the bottom and you can kind of lift this out. Again, you'll see it's not, mine's not sticking at all. The adhesive is just about gone and the reason is it's been taken apart so many times. So don't worry about the fact that this is separating from the plastic because this is what we're going to replace right here. And before we do that, we do want to make sure that we have a nice clean surface here. If there's any old adhesive, go ahead and peel that off. And once we have this removed, what I'm going to do is set my home button. Now, this is probably not the way these are supposed to be installed. They've got a couple different tabs. I assume they want you to stick this to the home button first and then put everything inside the assembly. I did not have a lot of luck with that. I went through a lot of these trying to figure that out. So what I ended up doing is just peeling the entire piece off and setting it on top of the home button once it's in position. So what you want to do very carefully, set this inside, but you'll need to be able to flip everything over. So I'm moving the tape. And I'm going to kind of flip the phone over and you want to make sure that everything is nice and straight as far as your square goes because that's the thing that's annoying when these little squares get to be off a little bit. Once you know you have it in place, go ahead and set it down and hopefully that will not shift. In the meantime, I'll put my tape back on here. What we're going to do now is very carefully peel this piece 
which is a little bit tricky. Get this off of the plastic, but we want the adhesive to stay with the rubber gasket and not stay on the plastic. And if you misalign anything, it's really annoying to deal with these because it's already sticky. And we've got this secondary piece that needs to come off here. And the more you touch it, of course, the less it's going to work. So try not to touch the sticky surface any more than necessary. But once we have both of those pieces of plastic off, we're going to very carefully line everything up here on the back of the home button. Make sure that's centered. And then we should be able to get it to stick down right around the outside. Another way to line this up is to hold it on your hand like so. And then let's get this tape out of the way. Do this flip everything upside down here. Get your home button now that it's actually sticking. And we can just very carefully position it the way we want it to be inside the foam. And it takes a steady hand for this one. All right, so now we'll flip him back over. Make sure that you're not trapping any cables. If you wanted to, you could add some new adhesive here. I'm not going to worry about it too much because this one was pretty sticky still when I took it off. Always check to make sure that you can click your home button. If it's sticking, sometimes you'll have to back off one of these screws about a quarter of a turn. You can experiment with one or the other. I find that that happens sometimes with uh, replacement screens. So do make sure it's clicking before you get it all together. But once we close this up, now we have a nice home button that will not spin around if we twist on it. And that's how you fix that one. Don't forget to put your screws back into the bottom of the phone before you finish. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button and feel free to share it on the social network platform of your choice. Check out some of my recent repair and product review videos and visit us on the web at gocellphonerepair.com. Thanks for watching.